Okay, so you've learned how to play your triads and you're like, big deal, right? Okay, so this is where the true gold lives with triads, okay? And uh, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you a pattern here, which I'm gonna show you a pattern here based off of just the, just the major triad in C and what you can start to do with it to make it your own, okay? So if you don't know what the, what a triad is, it's the most basic type of chord. It's the, in C major, it's the root, the third interval, and the fifth interval, C, E, and G, okay? So you've got, you can play it like that. You can play it like that. You can play it like this. You can play it like this. As long as you're playing, when you play those three notes, you're playing that triad, you're playing that chord in its various inversions. Um, that's technically not an inversion because I'm going from C. It's stacked according to the way the scale is. And I showed in some other videos like different ways to play those triads. And you might have thought at the time if you saw those like, wow, okay, that's great. You can play them in different ways. Here's where this stuff comes in really handy, okay? And I'm going to start showing you like musical patterns that you can use that sound less like an ex less like an exercise and more like music, okay? So check out this pattern, okay? What we're gonna do is we're gonna play the triad, the C triad, C, E, and G. And we're gonna insert, I'm gonna call this like a, a leading tone. Uh, for, for each of those triadic chord tones, okay? So I'll have C, so that's a D sharp, E, and then that would be a uh, F sharp, G. And that's a B, C, okay? And this is how I want you to play it. I want you to just try this out. There's different ways to play this, okay? I'm gonna play it like this. There's other ways to play it. You decide how you want to play that shape. These are just eighth notes. So I'm, I'm playing that C triad, but all of a sudden it's starting to sound like a musical phrase here. And all that I'm doing is in these back beats, I'm adding a leading tone. What that's doing is just adding sort of like some tension in between those those uh, those really important chord tones you know if I'm playing a C triad I'm probably playing an or, or supporting a C major chord and you could you could get away with just playing the triad and a lot of people do but if you want to start inventing bass lines that are yours and are unique, if you start seeing the triad as a series of destinations, uh, then your bass lines start becoming your own. Those triads become your own. Uh, and so that, that I want to show you the, the, the way that I would use this as an exercise to get this idea in your head. And I'm telling you, this will change the way you play bass. Um, so I just played that off of well, I, I'm going to want to see what that sounds like playing it off. Maybe it's this inversion. So that's another pattern there. I just played um, the so I G a half step below the C, the C, a half step below the E, the E, 
and then repeated. Right? I'm just going up and down. Notice that I don't start I don't start on a half step below. I start on a chord tone. This is really important uh, because I want those chord tones to land land on the downbeat. I want those I want those leading tones to sound, to be in the backbeat to to create tension and movement. Right? And then there's uh, this version. So I'll play. So here I'm playing three, five, root. And then I'm inserting the leading tone before each of the, so three, leading tone, five, leading tone, root, leading tone five, leading tone third. That's a triad. That's gonna sound, even though you're playing some chromatic notes in there, uh, it's gonna sound like a major triad. Still, you're just inserting these leading tones or these uh, I don't know what I should call them. If you think of each of those triadic tones as the, your destination, you know, those other those other tones are just uh, the roads you're using to get to those destinations. And here's the thing. Uh, I just showed you a very simple one using the C triad. I'm going to I'm going to show you you know what you can do with this concept to really like make start making like some like cool bass lines and and stuff that is you know it's gonna sound original <laughs> 